to look ahead at this first test. Actually holding up. Thanks. Get my way. Op het programma alleen artiesten die spektakel combineren met humor. Sorry, het is grappig. En die komen zo wel uit België of uit het buitenland. Zoals je al schitter. Possibly with American, we'll see, merging with U.S. Airways, are we finally going to break the cycle of bankruptcy, into bankruptcy, out of bankruptcy that has infected the U.S. airline industry for so long? That is, I think, it looks like Bill Murray. Is that Bill Murray over there? Yeah, that's Bill Murray. Uh, we'll be back. Pacquiao's next opponent, he in the court of a law. Court of a law? That's next. In the 90s, I thought, lots of fun tweets, so we'll start with D, who says, in the 90s, I thought that computers were much easier to use. Remember the green flashing, you know, in the dial-up? Oh, zone? yeah, sure yes. do. And I uh, thought nothing will ever be as cool as crystal meth. Pepsi. I'll grow a beard. Yeah. This is in my jeans. What? In your jeans? What? <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna win this battle with the lumberjack? That comes up next. I'm putting my money on Clayton. Uh, Brett Morris, he's a dairy farmer, and this is his farm that we're on, and, uh, hey, all right, <laughs> this early in the morning. Hey, we got to make cattle. That's right. We got to make right. some beef. Um, of course, LeBron bringing a lot of sex success to Cleveland, but just not enough. Not quite not enough. Not quite enough success. <laughs> he is so cute. Yeah, he looks he a little grumpy, and he's though. he's all oh. over me. Oh, <laughs> One no. of those days it was bound to happen. Does that really pee on your jacket? Yeah. So they will get on top of you and push that. you down. Well, they'll try and drag you. So these guys, if you see these sharp teeth, I won't put my fingers too close to them, but you wow. can Where you can sort of see. Oh, so she's having a little bit of a, wow, a bathroom break. But I don't think that's Gatorade. No. <laughs> Yeah, Marnie, we were right in the middle of it when that violence occurred earlier. One of the Seattle police officers came down on his bike. We got a guy here dancing around. This is pretty similar to what we've seen tonight, but I would prefer dancing rather than to some of the violence and some of the other property damage that we've seen tonight. Seattle police have them hemmed in. Sir, let me tell your story. Seattle police have them hemmed in here and are allowing them to express their message um, as long as they stay in this area. Just over my shoulder here and just past my friend there is where they had the fire last year in the middle of the intersection that shut down the traffic. Tonight, they are not letting anybody downtown as far as protesters are concerned. Well, Tom may have been disappearing in his report there. I'm very pleased to say he's reappeared in the studio. Now, in the past few weeks, uh, the SPCA has been receiving uh, calls. Sorry about that. Hi. Hi. Have a nice day. Thank you. Uh, Sorry Bye -bye. about that. Will they trade it? What has the departure of David West done to the team's plans? Oh, gotta like that on live TV, huh? The, pace, the pace mates enjoying some free airtime. Boy, where was I? Wow. New NBA rules. This is no longer a foul. Oh, that's no longer a foul. We learned that tonight in the Golden State game. Thank you, Jeff. Actually, you should have come down and hacked me a little harder. You should have taken a saw and sawed off my arm. That is still not a foul. That's allowed. Yeah, it's not a foul anymore. Come here, Toy. Puck will drop on that game. On game one, rather, between the Habs and Lightnings tonight. Ugh. Uh. Am I, like, way short? Now, listen, <clears throat> not to be crude, um, but are we to take away from this that Bradley Cooper is now dating Sepp Blatter's oh, come sloppy on. second? It's exactly what we're to take away from this. But, you know, most guys would be good with this. This could be sloppy 15ths and they'd take it. Hmm.
Uh, give us a little bit of the, the premise here. There's basically you're basically teaching uh, these high school seniors how to get into a little bit of trouble or how to do things without getting into trouble, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just woke up like five minutes ago. Oh, were you, you were sleeping? I'm just... Hell yeah. yeah, dude! It's like six o'clock over here. It's very Jesus early. Christ. But well, we we appreciate. It's you very right early. Now. And I'm very tired. You know the Warriors won the fucking championship. Okay, we gotta Sorry, go. I just okay. Said that for it. You're right, good. Thank you. We're gonna go now. Okay, back to me. Back, back over here, there. Okay. That I'm doing production for. Uh, we're doing um, a monthly party at Grand Central. Um, oh, it's everybody so can come. Yeah, it's at Grand Central, December fourth. Yeah, it's gonna be like a burlesque theme, and I'm gonna be doing IC. You know, we're gonna be making rain money all night long. So if you guys want to come out, right. come out. Well, I'm a witness here. What I seen was a horrible, tragic situation. The guy was coming down, and I guess the police was trying to do a stop point. The man said, no, not today. And they began to race behind each other like cats and dogs. The police officer got behind the man, and the police car just twisted around like a tornado girl. And the Lord just shook it up, and the man just got injured. His head went to one side, and his body went to the other side. And girl, he hit the pole. And now the result is this police officer don't know if his life is going to continue to make it, or he going to just tap out. Lord be with this young man. He need a blessing. I was actually going to buy me a piece of um, burger from Burger King, and I just stopped right in the middle because my hunger just went away. Because when I seen that accident, girl, I just began to be nosy, and I just had to just understand that somebody was experiencing this difficulty moment that was just not, <sighs> ma'am, I just cannot bear to continue to talk. All right, so this is what we did on our walk. I'm talking into no, his tie. I got the microphone right there. So early morning, did you see the lightning out there? Did I did. That? I did. Had a little bit of lightning. A little bit of thunder out there. We're going to take that off real quickly. Right now, looking outside, there's a live view from <laughs> our roast steak camera. Am I still in the shot? Am I still in the shot? Here, I think you're good. As long as you stay there, I think you're good. So let's talk about the weather here. Clear skies right now. We're going to have some clouds later. We're going to have some showers and thunderstorms. <laughs> <laughs> Step out the way. 75 degrees, our current temperature right now. Partly cloudy skies. Dew point is 66. <laughs> now I want you to shift over here for now. There you go. Mike, this way. Storm set it up. Tonight, we continue our week long series with class 3A. We're. Wait for me on the prompter there. Sorry. So the next few days, you know, right before Thanksgiving, I actually closed the complaint desk, but I'm going to have to reopen it. Hey, King, how are you? <laughs> Woo! Live TV. How are you, buddy? It's not your turn yet. You have to wait one more segment, okay? Just let me do the weather. I know you're stoked. So are we. All right, let's just go to the map so we can get him off of here in a graceful fashion. The police say the investigation into who shot who and how many of the nine, <laughs> if any. People in Antioch acting like they never seen fire before. Come on, fam. My hot box is thicker than the smoke will ever be. Story this morning. Now here's Charlotte with more on the situation in Greece. Ed Miliband's so, so. too good for this fucking country, to be honest. No, no, you can't swear on oh, daytime sorry, television. Sorry. He shot 17 over, missing the cut. Our cuts were they 40 over next. Sunshine continues today. <laughs> sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm laughing at the B conference. Oh my God, just back. <laughs> Southerly winds, they're going to be with us. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. This is live on air. That was way bigger than what we just huge. saw earlier. That was well over 4.0 magnitude. I can tell you that much right now. Let me finish this forecast and then, I'm, forgive me, it actually scared me. That's how powerful that one was. You know, I debated whether or not I was going to Where show. Where do I go? Ah! Are we here? <laughs> Guys, are we over here? I'm Kevin, sorry. come on, I, I can no, no, use I'm some help. We're... It's real simple today. It's cold outside. Is you can do the forecast. Okay, uh, today, guys, we're dealing with wind chill factors that we've never seen before. In this area right here, we're experiencing a lot of cold. Right here in this thing, we got eight, and over here in Atlanta. Oh, oh, I, I could learn some moves from you. What, what is that? You don't get low. That's what you got to do. You got to get low. Okay? Get low like the temperatures. And right here is where we're going to go, but this could come up. <laughs> and over here where it's brown is where it's dirt at. Where, <laughs> where there's dirt at. Does this offend you? It's a Confederate flag. Is it a symbol of Southern pride or a symbol of hate? And then 
What about this? Does this offend you? This word. President Obama said it out loud in an interview, and a lot of people are shocked. This shouldn't happen to anyone. The whole thing that we have been talking about is whether this is terrorism or not. And I think by it is, it is, it is terrorism. By any stretch of the imagination, you can understand that people are upset. But, you know, we're going to continue to talk about that. The president himself said he's angry today. Right. Uh, and local leaders said they are angry, too, that, that violence like this can't happen in a church. But everyone I've spoken to as well has also talked about healing. Yeah. I just think it's, it's really sad that when we have nine people who have lost their lives. We're going to take a break. We're going to take a break. And so we, we can have, have to a real deal with something like this. Let's but I think, I think it's important, too, that Let's people see the ignorance of this. An unnerving sight today at a London gay pride celebration, an ISIS flag among a sea of rainbow colors. CNN International Simon editor spotted the flag and was able to snap these pictures. Joining me on the phone from London is CNN's international Lucy Paul. This man, quite distinctive from the rest of the crowd, he was mm. dressed in black and white, whereas everyone else was brightly colored, as you can see from the photos. Mm. This man dressed in black and white was waving what appears to be a very bad mimicry, but a very clearly a clear attempt to mimic the ISIS flag, the black and white flag with the distinctive lettering. I mean, if you look at the flag closely, mm. it's clearly not Arabic. In fact, it looks like it could be gobbledygook.